Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome once again to the videos that we have on the IUPAC nomenclature of various types of organic compounds. And today as you can see we are going to have acid halide. Now acid halide as the name would suggest is a derivative of carboxylic acid with a halogen in it. Now carboxylic acid is RC double bond OH and we remove this OH with a halogen and we get acid halide. So this is what an acid halide would look like. So how do we name acid halides? Well it's pretty simple. You name the acid corresponding to this part Al Alkanoic acid and you replace the ic acid with YL space halide. That means this is going to look like alkanoyl halide. And depending on the nature of the halide, if it is Cl, you call it chloride. Br, bromide and so on. So it's alkanoyl halide. And since this is also a chain terminating functional group, it will automatically get the number 1 in the numbering. So the parent chain has to be selected including this carbonyl carbon and it will be given number 1. So let's check out the rules now. The nomenclature of acid halides starts with the name of the corresponding carboxylic acid. The ic acid ending is removed and replaced with the ending il followed by the name of the halogen with an ide that is ide ending after a space. This is true for both common and IUPAC nomenclature. The carbonyl carbon is given the number one location number. It is not necessary to include the location number in the name because it is assumed that the functional group will be on the end of the parent chain. Since we are going to begin the numbering from there, it is automatically going to be given number one. So let's check out a few examples. As usual, I would want you to pause the video, name the compound and pay it back to check your answer. Alright, so I'm going to name this now. And as you can see, there is no branching, so there is no issue with regard to the parent chain. And the numbering, obviously this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Not that you need to do the numbering here, because there are no substituents. So, it's butanoic acid, the acid from which it is formed. And remove the ic acid and put the ile halide and in this case chloride. So this is going to be butanoyl chloride. How about this one? It's from benzoic acid. Remove the ic acid. Put oil. Put while chloride. It's benzoyl chloride. Let's check out something a little bit more complicated. Yeah, this one's complicated, right? All right. So now look for the parent chain. Pause and then play it back. So I guess the parent chain is going to be something like this. So, and obviously the numbering has to be started from the carbonyl carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And uh, on 2, you got a methyl. You got an ethyl. In 3, you got 2 methyls. 4, you got a methyl. 5, you got a methyl. 6, you got a methyl. Lots and lots of methyls. There are 6 of them at least. So this is going to be 2 ethyl. 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hexamethyl octanoyl bromide 2 ethyl 2 3 3 5 2 3 3 4 5 6 hexamethyl 
octanoil bromide now the acyl carbon will take precedence over double bonds and any other substituents that you have in numbering now when both double bonds and acid chloride groups are present the alkenoic acid the same thing i mean you just name the acid and then remove the ic acid so if it is alkenoic acid then it becomes alkanoyl halide and of course before the n you also need to write the number of the double bond the location of the double bond is indicated before the parent name as before and the oil halide suffix follows the n suffix directly so let's check out a couple of examples in this try name this so what do you think is the name of this so it's pretty simple parent is obviously this one and here you need the numbering 1 uh let me put the numbers first 1 2 3 so it's prop 2 n oic acid oil chloride prop 2 n oil chloride now you don't have to write 2 n because this double bond cannot be here anyway So even if you don't write two, it's okay. Even if you write two, it's no problem. Prop enol chloride. Now I'm going to give you something really big, really complicated. I want to take your time in doing this. Pause the video and then play it back to check your answer. Pause now. All right. So let's name this parent chain, starting from this carbon, goes here. Remember, we got to get maximum number of multiple bonds. Goes here, and then goes here, and then goes here, and then goes here. Can you see that? This has maximum number of multiple bonds, including the carbonyl carbon. So I think what we're going to do is number it now: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. So write the parent name first. That will be more important. Fourteen is tetra, deca. So it's tetra, deca, and deca because I think there are more than uh, the the two double bonds here. So tetra deca. Nine, sorry, nine, eleven, diene because there are two triple bonds also. Five, thirteen, I noil bromide. This is the parent, and then after that, you have all the, just before this, you have all the substituents. So let's look at the substituents. You have. Isobutyl setting it for methyl. Uh, yeah, this one is interesting. Uh, I think we would probably need to number these also. One, two, three. So this is prop. Uh, sorry, two methyl propylidene. Two methyl propylidene. Iso butyl here, methyl here, and you got to number this one also. The other side chain. One, two, three. This is one methyl prop to enyl. So that is this one, and then vinyl here. So let's write down the name. It's a big one. Four iso butyl. Let the name come completely, and then I'll show you the four isobutyl sitting at four, two methyl, 
सेवन वट इज दिस प्रोप इट्स वन मेथल प्रोप टू इनाइल एट टू मेथल प्रोपिलिटीन इलेवन विनाइल एंड टेट्रा डेका नाइन टेन डाइन फाइव थर्टीन डाइन ऑयल ब्रोमाइड so this is the way we have to name acid halides and if there is any other example that you want me to name you're not able to name it yourself because we'll be doing the cyclic uh, acid halides in the next video so if there's anything that you want to ask any doubts please put it in the comment section and uh, i thank you for watching this video and hope this video was helpful to you thank you